Arizona baseball ends their series against Utah, scoring 15 runs in Sunday's game. The Wildcats are now on a nine-game winning streak, having swept their past two series. It's a good place to be heading into the final month of the regular season. I think the mental approach and then just all three phases of the game uh, coming together and, and playing, playing the way we want to. Yeah, Matt, I appreciate you saying that, and I think you're 100% correct. Um, and that's something that's always been important to me is, is we want to win every game that we play. We want to get better as, as we go. And um, I think that's a hallmark of our teams. I think maybe with the exception of 2017, we were better at the end of the year than we were at the beginning of the year and progressed as the season went along. Um, and I don't think this year has been any different in that regard. And I think the players deserve a lot of credit for that. Um, they've put in a lot of time. I mean, when we're, when we play at six, we're here at noon, you know what I mean? And, and there's a break for lunch, but uh, that's how they handle themselves. And um, I think that type of commitment is being rewarded by the improvement you're speaking of. I think these guys are showing the, the fortitude, um, the consistency and approach in play. Uh, I think they believe they are, um, but th that doesn't matter. We just, we got to stay on course. You know, we got to handle adversity well, you know, we'll have some, we got to handle success well. Um, but I think the the players are good enough and I think they know they're good enough. And I think they're, they're playing with that type of confidence. You can't come back and win last night's game if you don't really believe in yourself. And I would put it as simple as I believe in our team and more importantly, the players believe in themselves. And that's, that's, that's where I'm going with that is I think they, they have a high level of belief and, and that can take them as far as they want to go. Uh, I think adversity. I think we've handled it a lot better. I think uh, last night showed that we can handle that a lot better. And uh, I think the pitching has stepped up as well in a big way. This weekend did a great job filling up the zone. Austin Smith has been Arizona's Sunday starter for the past three weeks. It's a new role for the transfer from Southwestern University after he began his season coming out of the bullpen. He took another step forward in his development this weekend against the Utes. Uh, I'm just doing what my coaches have me do each day. Uh, I come out to the field. I talk to Coach Yeski. We kind of develop a plan for each day, and I just kind of do what I'm told. But it was a great start, and hopefully I keep going in the right direction with that. I transferred from my D3, and I went to that D3 as a shortstop third baseman. I never pitched in high school. Didn't really pitch there even until my coach was like, hey, you have a strong arm. Um, let's just put you on the mound. And then my sophomore year at my uh, old school, they decided to make me a full PO. So that was kind of like my my first year as a pitcher only. Um, and then my junior year, I went in, did great there, and then ended up here and now just seeing where it goes. Uh, I definitely feel like there's – there's always room for improvements, always. So I'm just kind of staying the course, keep my head down, keep uh, listening to the advice and the help that I get from the coaches here. I mean, of course, everyone on our team wants to pitch, but you can't focus on that. You just got to focus on what you can do to get better, to get yourself in the mix. So I just kind of kept my head down and uh, I cheer on my teammates all the time. And I just do whatever I'm told to, to work on. That's was my main focus. Arizona has now won 30 games after this weekend's sweep over Utah. What were your biggest takeaways from this weekend? Well, I think for one, it was the ability to bounce back. Um, obviously, uh, Saturday night's game was a little bit more difficult than the first. We were here for Friday night's game. It was relatively easy. Uh, Utah kind of played to its record. They don't have a lot of wins, and, and they looked like a team that didn't have a lot of wins. And then uh, Jay Johnson said he had a dream that they were going to be in a close game, and that he was going to be miserable for two and a half hours Saturday night, and that's kind of what happened. Um, Utah did, I think, everything they possibly could to try and win that game, but Arizona had enough uh, at the end to pull out the win. So bouncing back today here on Sunday with you know, a strong effort at the plate, they were able to kind of look like the team we all know and have come accustomed to knowing this season. I think that was big for them. Um, to me, it was just a constant progression. I know um, I asked Coach Johnson about this. Just It feels like it's not about them having things kind of just line up and fall into place. It feels like they're a better baseball team now than they were a few weeks ago. Obviously, they had a very difficult game to open the series against Washington State. Since that time, they've now reeled off nine straight wins. And so it feels like a different team, and you want to have progress this time of year. You want to get better. Um, yes, you want to have things line up, but if you can have a better team now than you did a few weeks ago, it's a positive thing. And I think that's the big step forward for Arizona. Austin Smith, I think, is kind of the other big story of the weekend. Um, really put together a nice start here on Sunday. It's kind of inching closer to being a legitimate starter, and I think that's a positive thing for Arizona to look forward, forward to. 
They had a lot of positive things going on for them this weekend. I think for Jay Johnson, you're starting to sense that he's getting a little bit more confident in his group and really starting to um, trust what they have to bring to the table. I think he likes where his team is at right now. And when you're getting this close to the end of the regular season, that's what you want. And I think he, he's been in a good mood lately. There hasn't been a lot that's really been frustrating to him, I don't think. And obviously when you win nine games in a row, hard to be frustrated about things. But coaches find ways to be frustrated about things. And Jay Johnson just doesn't feel that way right now. It feels like the team is, is in a good place. Um, they're really energized. He talked about that after this uh, sweep over Utah, that he didn't feel like energy was going to be an issue at all coming into this final game of the series, and it wasn't. And it just feels like this team is in a really good place, and they're inching closer to the postseason. And as you get closer to that time, it's a good time to, to kind of have a team like this. And um, this is starting to feel like a special group right now. They, uh, there are some things to kind of fine-tune and correct, but the pitching staff has looked much improved lately. You know the bats are always going to be there. You know they're going to be able to supply runs and have a big offense. So things are really kind of coming together for this team right now. And like I said, I think the most important thing that I've noticed recently is just that they're improving and they're getting better, which is a great sign for things all the way around. Arizona hosts GCU Tuesday night before hitting the road next weekend to face Stanford. With Matt Moreno, I'm Avery Klinowski for GoAZCats.com.